Alright you guys, this is the review of my SyncMaster B2430 HD. This is the one with the uh, TV tuner on it. It has, <clears throat> it has uh, one composite video audio jack, uh, which I have my Wii hooked up to. Two, HDMI, two HDMI ports, which I plan to hook up my future gaming rig up to, and uh, VGA that I have my MacBook Pro hooked up to, and uh, it and a port for a coaxial cable, which is plugged in. It has a built-in DTB tuner, so you automatically pick up all signals and you don't have to buy the converter box or anything. And uh, that's a really nice feature. Uh, Over-the-air content looks great, which I will demonstrate in a minute. Uh, but first I'll go over the outside of the display. You, uh, it comes with a nice remote, a nice Samsung remote, full featured, you can control pretty much everything. Uh, nice big buttons. And, uh, you, uh, um, and on the bottom here, it's kind of out of focus, but you have soft touch buttons to control the display on the screen, volume up, channel, power, uh, menu, and then a cool blue light on the bottom of this clear plastic bar that indicates power. Yeah, and uh, just a nice jet black case that goes all the way around, HD TV monitor there with the little Energy Star logo, so it's pretty efficient. Uh, I have my sensor bar taped to the top of it because it's too thin to support it. Uh, yeah, the stand looks cool. You have just a nice thin thing. Uh, one downside for this is that uh, it's hard to adjust when you when you tilt it. It it sound it's not, but it sounds like it's cracking. It it sounds like you're gonna break it and. That made me a little uneasy at first, but you get used to it, and it you can tilt it, but it just sounds, it sounds really feeble. But, yeah, the stand looks nice, and uh, another, you have all the ports on the back here, uh, two HDMIs right, right there and right there, uh, you have composite video, component video too, I, I only have the audio, composite audio video cable. Uh, I'm using the power cord that came with my old eMac because the one that shipped with this monitor, it was kind of a pain. The, the prongs wouldn't go all the way in, so it would constantly shut off and turn on because the connection wasn't strong at all. I mean, it, it, it's weird. The prongs wouldn't wouldn't go all the way in, it was just strange. But uh, yeah, there's power, HDMI I pointed out, component, composites. Uh, should probably shine some light on this, I'll bring the lamp over. That's a little better. Uh, VGA is the black cord right there, you can probably tell. It has this built-in media player, you can plug any flash drive in, and it'll play the music and movies off of that. Uh, there is, there's co there's the coaxial port right here, um, and then all the audio ports, the headphone jacks, the audio in jacks, and, yeah, but that's the back of it, and you have this nice textured, cool looking thing, oh yeah, um, I forgot to mention, you can mount this too, there's one screw hole, uh, and then there are a couple more on the top here, so, that's that. Um, now I'll go into some of the features of the display. There's a good range. There's a good range of settings. Uh, I'll just go to menu. You have uh, the display settings, sound, uh, digital tuner settings. So over the air cable whatever else uh the plug in or 
the plug and play stuff, the or no, the, never mind, uh, not plug and play, just uh, all the settings for this display t time, language, yeah. Uh, the different sources, so the different video sources. And media play, that's the USB feature I talked about. I have a little uh, extension cable for that right here, if you can see that, because it's kind of hard to get to on the back of the TV. And uh, then the help thing, self-diagnostics, software updates, etc. Yeah, but just a nice broad menu, it's easy to navigate. So, then another nice feature I did forget to mention is this thing called PIP. You can watch TV. Well, you can watch TV while you're working in BGA or HDMI on your computer, so <laughs> I have to find it quick. I haven't used it much, so I can't even remember where it is. Oh, here it is. Yeah, PIP on and then I'll select cable so and there are two sizes and positions you can choose from that's nice but yeah uh, so now I can watch TV and I have audio right in the corner as I'm working on my computer it's that's it's a really nice feature then to turn it off you just you have to go back into the menu there really should just be a button on the remote or the actual display itself um i'll go back here god where was that Pip. yeah but that's i haven't seen that on anything else so far so it's a nice feature yeah, but HD content. This is a t this is a full 1080p display. I this is the Avatar trailer. I'll just play it here. It looks very sharp. Obviously, you're not going to see it because this camera only records 480p. Would like to talk to you about a fresh start. It's a beautiful picture, though. Samsung makes some of the de best displays I've seen on the market right now, whether it's TVs or whatever else. But this is just phenomenal. I mean, it looks like you're looking through a window. <coughs> the sound does leave a little bit to be de to be uh the sound does leave a little bit to be desired. I mean, it it has built-in speakers, by the way. Uh, which, and you're not paying for the speakers, so you're probably want to, gonna buy an external pair. Uh, just, turn down, just turn down the volume. I have a set of Bose Companion 2s hooked up. You can look at my review on those, but yeah. So. Once again, the picture quality is just phenomenal, though, and. A lot of people have seen Avatar, so I'll just get out of this. Text is rendered really nicely. I'll just scroll down to some of the comments. Uh, yeah, that's really out of focus on the camera, but it it looks great. I mean, it's clearer to it's clearer to read on than my MacBook screen. So if that tells you anything, it's just awesome. Awesome video quality, awesome text. Okay, I'll get out of Safari now. I will... What should we go to next? You have a nice source list, it's easy to pick from. I'll go to TV now. So this is coming in from the coaxial cable. HD TV looks great. Uh, with that built-in TV tuner, it just looks awesome. This is over the air, and just phenomenal quality. Yeah, it, 
it's just great it's just a great picture quality but that's the HD TV feature and uh, you have however many channels I live in the middle of nowhere so I don't get that many and some of them do come in fuzzy pretty much the only ones that we get clearly are uh, channel 11 channel 7 and uh, 22 which is PBS Yeah, but they all look phenomenal. So next, whoops, didn't want to press three. Uh, so next, I'll go to the audio video one, which my Wii is hooked up to. Uh, the Wii looks okay. It's a standard definition cable, and the entire system is standard definition, actually. Even with the component cable, it only puts out a 1080p, or it only puts out a 420p resolution, so it really doesn't look that great. I'll just put in a quick game here so you can see this. I wanted an Xbox 360, I really did, but we had to get a Wii because my I have three little sisters. That's why I spend so much time in my room or at friends' house houses. Yeah, all my games are teen rated, so I have a pin code on this thing. Yeah, I actually have a light on, and it's still, the screen still looks really good, so if that means anything, that, I mean, most people turn, turn the light, turn the lights off when they're demoing a display, so I have the lights on, and it still looks this good. That's really impressive. Weird, that's, that's the sensor bar, those three little lights on the top of the screen, or, or those... The, the or the two lights to the left and right that's that's the sensor bar that's kind of weird how it picks up on the camera like that this is blazing angels it it's a really good game i've had a lot of, i've had a lot of fun with this game uh, hold on i'll turn the volume down this is a really fun game fun campaign you can pick from all these different planes. Gives you all these tips while it's loading the map. Whoa, I was not holding the nunchuck which you used to control, that's why that happened. But. Whoa. I guess you have to fly low in this one. Playing with one hand is difficult. I'm not making an excuse, I'm playing with one hand and I'm watching this through the camera screen, so it's kind of hard.
tried to pause it there. Yeah, but it, it looks decent, I guess. But standard definition kind of sucks. They should have made the Wii an HD system. I mean, it came out when HD TVs had pretty much taken hold, 2006. It should have been an HD system, but I guess there's nothing we can really do about that now, but... Yeah, so those are the three inputs I have so far. Uh, and this pretty much wraps up my, my review. Again, just an awesome, awesome display. I'm so happy I got this thing. Uh, if you're going to get it, get it off Newegg, Newegg.com. You should be able to find a pretty good deal on it. Just all the connections you could ever want, and it's a great price for a great display. So, yeah, thanks for watching.